This is the world's largest thing of baking batter. It's four pounds. <laughs> you want to know how many servings are in here? 3,023. That's a lot of servings of baking powder. If anyone needs baking powder, just call me. I have a lot of baking powder. Wow, there's literally no line to get gas. Okay, so I'm here at Costco. There is quite a long line. It's a little bit after 10. It's about 52 degrees out, according to my car. It has been raining all morning, so I thought perhaps the lines wouldn't be as long since it's been raining. Who wants to wait in line in the rain? So um, I guess we'll see, but pulling in, it did look like there was a pretty substantial line. Um, I know many of you probably wanna see what the store looks like on the inside, but I just don't wanna take the risk getting my phone exposed to extra germs, et cetera, cross-contamination, all that stuff. I'm not wearing gloves into the store because cross-contamination is a real thing. You think you're protected by having gloves on, but then you're touching things, you're touching your face, you're touching your phone, you're touching your bag. Um, I think I'm better off hand sanitizing my hands over and over. So I am bringing in pocket size hand sanitizer, my car key, my paper list so I don't have to take my phone out, and then my Costco card and um, how I'm going to pay. And then my phone will be in my bag, but I'm not planning to open my bag until I go to pay. So I'm going to go get in the line. I will check back in with you when I get out and give you the full scoop on what it's like in Costco right now. Okay, so I'm home. That was crazy. I didn't think going to Costco would take as long as it did. It's been about four hours since I left home, um, which is kind of crazy. It only takes about 20 minutes to get to Costco. So I was in line for probably about 40 minutes. When I got in line, the line was across the front of the store and then down one row of cars. People in the front were doing a really good job keeping social distancing. People in the area where the cars were, not so much. I put a cart between me and the person in front of me. That helped. But the person behind me, I just felt like they were like really encroaching my personal space, which is very uncomfortable. I want to show you what I got. Um, I don't know why people love seeing other people's groceries, but it's a thing. So I'm going to show you what I bought. I'm hoping that what I bought today will last us um, at least six weeks, probably closer to eight. There are some things I bought that were non-perishable, like dish soap and things like that, that will last way longer than that, um, maybe through, you know, three, four months. So without further ado, here is what I bought. Blanc. This is like our favorite white wine that's cheap. It's very cheap. Um, Old Bay. This is a ton. We'll probably share it with somebody. Uh, I got some yogurt, some Cheerios. I did get another thing of mayonnaise, Campbell's soup, tomato soup. Got some bread, um, toilet paper. Only one kind that they had at the store, the Kirkland brand, but you know, you can't be picky right now. Um, goldfish. Let's see down here. I got some non bread. Uh, actually, this is pizza. This is kind of an impulse buy. This pizza stone bake kit. Didn't want to buy a frozen pizza because it takes a two inch space. I finally got tortillas. Super excited about that. Um, I got some iced tea mix, toothpaste we were out of, some cleaner for the toilet. They don't have bleach, they're completely out of bleach. They're out of most cleaning supplies at my Costco. I got some soap. We've been out of soap, so that's exciting. Corona Light, vitamin water. I did get some um, laundry detergent as well as dish detergent. We're not immediately out of these things, but we're gonna be out soon, so I just grabbed them because I don't wanna go back for a while. I got milk, I got um, whole milk, and then I also got the lactate, and they only had 2%, but I went for it because the, the date is so much later than regular milk, as you can see, so went for it. Um, and then I got five dozen eggs, which is a lot of eggs, but it's not that much more to get five compared to two, so I went for it. And I'll probably share these with my neighbors. I'll see if they need any eggs. Um, okay, over here, this is like the world's largest thing of baking powder. By the way, my husband's already mad I bought it. <laughs> um, we'll probably just take out what we need and, I don't know, see if anyone else needs some. Um, it lasts till 2020. It's not like it goes bad, but um, it was. I couldn't find it online. And this is the only size they sell at the store, so... I went for it. Um, there's also some stuffed peppers under here that I missed before. Okay, then I got Barilla pasta, penne, coconut milk. They didn't have any diced tomatoes, so I got um, peeled tomatoes. I got milk 
that's like, you know, shelf stable in case we need to go even longer with no milk. A huge bag of potatoes. Oh my God, we're getting so many potatoes. Okay, then over here, I did the laundry basket system, by the way. Great system for in the car. Okay, I got bread. I got rolls. I got non-bread. This stuff freezes really well, and you can like make pizzas or whatever. And then everything else is like meat in here. So I got, um, let's see, I got chicken tenders, hot dogs, bacon. I got ground beef. I got lunch meat. I got chicken breast. I got two of those. Tuna fish. I got some feta that I've been craving. Oh, I got um, Italian sausage down there. This is our favorite cheese to buy. We freeze half of it. Got a big block of cheese. Sour cream. Again, not something I would normally buy at Costco because it's huge. But like, you know, when you need it, you need it. Um, crispy chicken strips. And then I really like this thing. It's just really easy for when you don't have time to make dinner because it's got you know, everything in it. My kid will eat it, so that's good. Okay, and then this is all my fresh produce. World's largest thing of spinach. Gonna take forever to eat that, but we'll make a lot of smoothies. Broccoli, um, frozen broccoli, mandarin oranges. We eat those like they're going out of style. We got strawberries, blueberries, cherry tomatoes, raisins, because my son loves raisins. A whole bag of lemons. Gotta have that if you're gonna have Corona Light. Avocados. Oh my god, it's so nice to have avocados again. I'm so excited. And then bananas, two bunches, are very green. These little mini sweet peppers and romaine lettuce. So that is quite a bit of stuff that I was able to get at Costco. I also got gas and in total I spent $600. So I'm in a different outfit. I've changed. I actually showered. The first thing I did when I got home was shower put away all the groceries and then showered because that's COVID living, right? Quarantine life, isolation. When you go out, you must shower. You must shower immediately. I put all my clothes into the laundry and here I am now in my kitchen. So I have to tell you a little bit about being in the line at Costco today. Or one in, one out type of situation. And I knew that going into it, I knew that I would probably have to wait in line. Um, the line was the whole front of the store and then wrapped through one row of cars. By the time I got to the front of the line, it was actually wrapped through two more rows of cars. So the line was definitely building. I'm glad I got there when I did. I just wish that in retrospect, I had gotten there a little bit earlier. So very interesting in line. Almost everyone was wearing masks. Lots of people also wearing gloves, although I think people don't really understand that if you're going to wear gloves, you cannot touch your face and you cannot touch your cart and then your coffee and then your phone and then your face. But there were literally people there in with gloves on, drinking their coffee, lowering their mask with their gloves, and then touching the cart, touching their phone and whatever else they had with them. Um, I actually also saw kind of several groups of people. It seemed like groups of people where the people knew each other and they're only letting in two people per membership right now. So I was kind of puzzled by that. How are they, you know, how are they in a group? Um, Costco was great about policing the line at the front of the store and checkout was the easiest checkout experience I've ever had. So easy, people directing you, it was fast, it was quick, no one was in your space. The entire food court area was shut down, so there wasn't that same type of commotion that you usually have when you're leaving Costco. Um, but the aisles were really hard to navigate. People were very much, um, you know, everyone's kind of going for similar products, and I, it, I found that challenging to sort of keep my space from other people. And so I did a lot of like leaving my cart at the end of the row so that I could run into the row and get something quickly and run back to my cart, and that kind of worked in certain areas. Um, but not everywhere in the store. So I got almost everything on my list that I needed with the exception of bleach, paper towels, and I never found the tortilla chips. I probably could have looked longer. And so I was looking for pepperoni at one point and could not find it, but we will survive. We'll just eat a lot of veggie pizza when we crack that bad boy open. Mm -hmm. 